everybody. I have been wanting to do this for such a long time. And that is, I want to show you how Eric and I made our worm towers. I have had two very successful five gallon worm towers in my parkway sections for years. In February of 2016, I dug the hole in my back 40 raised bed for my first worm tower. <laughs> Eric had drilled the holes in a five gallon plastic bucket on Valentine's Day two days earlier. After packing soil around the bucket, it was time to fill it up. I had collected and mixed together wood ash, kitchen scraps, used paper towel, and some green material with some good compost to attract worms into the bin. The holes in the bucket allow for easy access of worms to travel in and out of the tower, and they fertilize the bin as well as the raised bed as they go. Think of the tower as a worm hotel with a 24-hour buffet. I topped it off with ground eggshells and coffee grounds. Worms love coffee grounds, but it's best to use organic as chemicals are often used to process coffee. And of course, water. Worms more easily move through moist material and snap on the lid to keep out critters. After the first rain, I realized I needed some drain holes in the lid as well. Any standing water can attract mosquitoes. Eric is grabbing his drill and we're gonna show you. And I'm also gonna have you take a look at some of the worm activity in the past. Soon after the first installation, this tower and one other were relocated to the parkways. There's a lot of worms in there. By June of 2018, we were routinely harvesting worms and compost nice. to mm. add to my many Beautiful. potted plants. Right, and this will go back. Let me put them on. Let, let me mix it in. Oh, I have something in the kitchen. I'll be right back. One handful, and there's like, what, 20? More than that. <laughs> Beautiful. Eric was just saying that he's never seen the, the soil so black before. This is really composted out of that particular worm tower. They are so easy and a great way to add worm castings to your garden beds. Okay, so what you wanna do, a five gallon is great. This is a smaller one just for demonstration purposes, but you just want to make holes kind of evenly all around your bucket. And that way the worms can access what's inside. And you wanna do it on the bottom too. So we'll do it like so. And, oh, <laughs> and you wanna leave a lip because you want this to be above your surface level of your garden bed. And often if you're using wood chips, it's gonna rise up. That's what happened to me. Mine are now completely buried to the top as you will see. So it's a great idea to start by having it buried to here. Now, Eric is just going to drill, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna have him use 3 8 inch drill bits. And here we go. Okay. 
demonstration only. Right, you right. put it five gallon. Exactly. This yeah. is for demonstration only. Yeah. Five gallon is great. You can also use PVC pipe. As long as you get a top on it, you don't want any critters getting down and digging in your kitchen scraps. And what you can do is you can put some compost in here to start with kitchen scraps and just keep building it and every week add more kitchen scraps. That's what we did for years out here. Now we stopped, what about three or four months four, ago? Months ago. Yeah. Maybe four or five months ago we stopped adding because I knew I was going to be leaving here. And let's go take a look and see what that compost looks like today. Exactly. Okay? Thank you. I'm going to hang on to this for my new location. <laughs> We're not burying that here. But let's go take a look at the ones in the parkway. So we have two, and the one here is completely buried, so he's unburying it. Ooh, Eric is reaching in, and we're going to see the condition of this compost. Now we've got some roots in there. I wonder if that's from the tree. Yeah. What do you think the roots are from? See, it's coming. See? It's coming from ah, the tree. the roots are see? coming. Coming to the tree, very happy for, for the hole. See the root? It's coming in between to the hole. Ah, the roots, is that the tree or is that the uh, ground cover? For the ground cover. Ah, okay. Yeah. See, you are looking for the good soil. Ah, very yes. nice, happy. Let's see if we have any see? worms in the bottom, any big worms. Yeah, I go, I go, I go. See, it's loose. Not too many worms, they're a little dry. Yeah, we haven't yeah. added anything, so we got a lot of roots. See? But this wow. would be really good compost oh, to use, right? To, uh, ready to planting. See? Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Let's check the other one. Yep. One, two, three. Out. Oh, it's a more nice. See? See? Very nice. Eh? Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, very, very smooth. See? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, and we do have worms. A lot of little ones. When you feed them more, you see a lot of bigger worms. See? Very nice. Plus, we haven't had any rain. Eh? Nice. Eh? Ready. In a couple months. In a couple of months? Six months. Well, yeah. it's already been six months. I mean, Four it months. was at the top, Eric. Just think about it. Look See, at the, it look uh, compact. And, and look how compact it is. Yeah, that means the worms ate everything, down to nothing. <laughs> See? I find the couple for the banana. <laughs> oh, wow, leftover. A label from the bananas. There you go, the banana. Okay. Banana is a good super. Potassium. Okay. See? And okay. it's highly okay. recommended that you do this because not only can you harvest compost, mm. but you can harvest the worms and put them in your containers. See? And they will continue to provide castings for your container plants. See? Take a look yeah. inside. Beautiful. Look at but you see, it, this was completely full of kitchen, uh, kitchen In the scratch. beginning, mm -hmm. here, and then go compacted. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Very happy. It was Eric's suggestion that we just check on my compost bin. As you recall, we did this compost bin a couple of years ago, and I haven't added anything to it in a while, and we just wanted to see what the condition is. I have a feeling that we're going to have a lot of ants in here. Yeah. We get a lot of ants in here, remember? A long time ago, yeah. now it's clean. Let's see? check it out. See? See? Beautiful. Yeah. You can shake it with the white chicken wire, no? With the, the wire screen. screen. The screen. Yeah. yeah. You know. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. This is the compost. preparation. See, very yeah. smooth. Wow. Yeah. Very soft. Somebody's going to be very fortunate to get that. See? Very soft. See? Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. Do it again. Very, very, very soft. Beautiful. Yeah. Very black. Wow. Okay. You see any worms though? No. No worms? Completely dry. Yeah, worms don't like it dry. No. You need to. See? It's it start growing root. See? What was that? What do you think that's roots of? Yeah. What do you think it is? I don't know. I don't have an idea. Okay. Maybe maybe it's potato inside. Uh, <laughs> Remember? Oh my you gosh. Have a potato. 
Do you think it's the roots from the tree? No, no. This is a uh, okay. The compost. Um, okay. All in right. good condition. Wonderful. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching this channel. I hope you enjoy watching Eric and I work. We're like family. <laughs> sometimes he gets impatient with me, sometimes I get impatient with him. Thank but you. Thank you very I much. love this guy and he loves me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching this channel, liking the videos, and be sure and check out all the other videos that we've done together. This uh, series with Eric goes back at least two years. We've been working, we were working on Thursday, Thursday workday, which became Saturday workday this year. I keep, Saturday. We can keep going on Saturday. And we can keep going on Saturday. We're gonna keep going on Saturdays here until I am no longer at this property. And then hopefully by then I'll find a new place to be and he can come along with me. That I would really love. Would you okay. like that? I like it. It's a good <laughs> idea. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.